Uh, I kind of grew up with a Christian background, but never really felt like I ever kind of caught on fire until uh, I started going through some issues in my life. From 2009 to 2019, I was in and out of doctor's offices quite a bit. I knew something was wrong, something wasn't right. I always felt sick, and I would go to a doctor after doctor, and every time, test results would come back okay. The symptoms that I was having kind of grew over time, and it started with being tired and then straight to panic attacks. And I didn't know what it was. All I know was it was like this flood of fear in, in the best way to describe it, it almost feels like liquid darkness just kind of pouring over you. Then it, it turned into anxiety, so I was anxious. And then, you know, and so I'd go to doctor after doctor. I've had EKGs, I've had MRIs, I've had the whole gamut. So my faith really wasn't there. I guess if you don't really understand, you always expect a cure-all from God. And that's just might not be the case, you know. Um, so I was super frustrated and angry at times. I mean, to be honest with you, I've, I was even cussing and screaming at the top of my lungs because it was putting my, it was putting my family through it. It was putting my kids through it. And this was just breaking me. It was breaking me. So when I was driving down the road, it came on the radio that there was a connection between head injuries and anxiety and panic attacks. And I was like, I had a car accident in 2005. After trying to treat the head injury on my own for a long time, me and my wife were arguing so much and I couldn't even, I couldn't mentally take it to be at the house. And there was no option for me to, to move out. And then I got this path to Honey Lake. It was like a door opened up and it was the only door and it was option for me. And it was really the only option that I had. And one of the most important critical things for me is that it was a Christian based facility where the main focus was getting you better with God. I was like, I need this, I gotta have this. Where everything kind of turned around was actually going to Honey Lake and everybody just praying and putting hands and focus on God and counseling focused on God, taking that step was tough. Not only was it tough because when you hear of mental patients, you immediately think of the one who flew over the cuckoo's nest and that's not the case. So there's a little bit of embarrassment there. And to say that I need mental help is tough, but it was a triggering event for everything that followed after that. All the years that I was praying to catch on fire, all the years I was praying for some kind of interaction at that particular moment, all started to come true. And it was in like the darkest part of my life. Like that was the darkest part of my life. And for me, I, when I sit back and think about it, I'm like, there's no way I could have ever developed in my relationship with God had I not gone through this. I had a head injury and it was physically impacting my body. And then not knowing where it was, it was a downward spiral. And then I didn't have an understanding of what a relationship with God meant. So you have to have the mental, the physical, and the spiritual. It was like some secret sauce that I didn't know about that opened up an actual path where I was seeing results. I'd have never been where I'm at right now with my relationship with God had I not gone through this. And if that's what it takes for me to be saved, <laughs> then bring it on and let's do it.